Excited to be joined by Swift Current Broncos forward and Seattle Kraken prospect Clark Caswell. Clark, thanks for joining today. You're getting ready right now for your third full WHL season. But first, I want to take you back to June. We didn't get to see you in Vegas. So how did you get to experience the draft this year? Uh, yeah, I mean, stayed home in Brandon, had uh, my media family members and some grandparents, some sisters and brothers. And um, I had my belt family from Swift come in. So a lot of special pe people helped me celebrate the day. And I mean, overall, it was a, it was a great day. And um, it's a dream come true to be get drafted to the NHL. And it's something I've looked forward to my entire life. So what was your reaction when you hear that one Seattle has traded up for this pick and then you hear your name? Yeah. I mean, it happened so fast when it's in the later rounds, it's kind of bang, bang, bang. So um, I kind of was kept looking at the TV. I mean, it was a long stressful day, but once I saw my name get up there, I was, I was ecstatic. Everybody jumped up on their feet and um, it was definitely a surreal moment. I saw some uh, pictures posted from the celebration. How did you all get cracking gear so fast in Brandon? Yeah, I mean, luckily there were some cracking jerseys at the local sports store, but uh, my dad and my billet dad, they were pretty excited. So uh, when I was making some phone calls, they jumped in the car and drove down there and uh, made sure they got the only ones available. So it was definitely special. Well, hopefully you get a couple free ones back from the Kraken after camp, hey? Yeah, I'm hoping. <laughs> And then right off the hop, you go to your first NHL development camp. What sort of things do you take away from that experience? Yeah, it's awesome. The staff, the players, uh, the facilities, obviously, they're high tech. Everything's the latest edition, everything. And I mean, they're there to help you become the best player, the person that you want to be. So um, overall, it was a great learning experience. I tried to take everything in and kind of bring it back to Swift, bring it back to our team. And I mean, hopefully grow myself as a player and my teammates. So um, overall, it was a great experience. I mean, Seattle's a city. It's amazing. It's special lot of sports teams um, history there. So um, it was great to spend a week there. And I'm looking forward to getting back there in September. And you're there with a childhood friend. Uh, how far back do you and Berkeley Catton go? Yeah, I mean, playing since again against each other and with each other since we were eight. Um, I think we kind of grew our friendship through hockey and I mean he spent a couple of summers a week or so in Brandon skating golfing with me so um, it's definitely a special relationship and I mean getting drafted to the same team as him he's a special player special person so I could not be happier. What did you two uh, say to each other or text to each other after you were both chosen? I mean, there's there's not too many words. I mean, it was it was just excitement. So, um, I mean, you never really expect it to happen. It's 32 teams that have a chance to pick you, and you go to the same one. So, you're never really thinking about as possibility. And when it happened, we were just excited. So, the Kraken shared a lot of videos with uh, Marshawn Lynch uh, hyping Burks up as the smartest player in the draft. Can you confirm or deny that he is one of the smartest players at the draft? Definitely, obviously, he's. He's smart offensively and defensively, but um, I mean, when you look at your size, his size, he's not the biggest player, but he makes everything work and he's um, a great point producer, great skater, everything like that. So, I mean, he has to be, be doing something right when he's that size. And I mean, he's a special player for sure. There's a lot of WHL players in the Kraken system now. I'm curious, what's it like at camp sharing the ice with, all of those guys, especially ones that there's a bit of a rivalry with, like guys like Jager Perkis from Moose Jaw. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely a little bit weird. Um, he put up uh, quite a bit of goals on us this season, so it's definitely different seeing him there. But, I mean, seeing a lot of familiar faces going into camp like that, it's definitely makes it easier, um, a lot more relatable to talk to, and it's definitely something that I'm looking forward to growing relationships with. So I'm excited to see all those Western guys there. In terms of your game, what did the Kraken share with you about what they're liking in your play and what they want to see you develop? Um, I think just my smarts and uh, my playmaking, um, being aware on the ice, kind of knowing where I am and my teammates are and trying to create chances through that. And I think the biggest thing I took away on what I need to improve on is my skating overall strength. And I think that's an, uh, a target that I've always wanted to get to. So. Um, it's nothing new to me, and it's something that I'm going uh, to keep working on. I think you touched on it a bit there, but how would you describe your style of game when you're at your best? 
Um, someone with the puck, someone making plays, getting to know the ice and kind of creating high and high danger chances throughout the game, getting teammates involved and I mean, putting the defenders on their back feet and kind of pushing the pace. You're coming off a really strong sophomore season. You double your goals, assists, finish second on the team at points. I think you were plus 17. Uh, what does a successful 2024 look like for you? Yeah, I mean, the same thing. I mean, point of production's obviously a confidence booster, and you always want to have it. But I think the biggest thing for me is just growing my two-way game, um, being responsible, kind of growing my pro-style game. And obviously, being a leader, there's a lot of guys leaving this year for pro, so I'm excited to step into a leadership role and kind of help the team move forward. Have you set any specific goals for yourself? Um, I think, obviously, there's specific goals that you keep on yourself with points and um, where you want to be at the end of the season. But um, I think the biggest thing for me is just developing myself as a player. Like I said before, becoming a better skater, becoming stronger. And I think if you do those things, obviously the the other stuff will come. So uh, that's the biggest focus for me this year. How have the Broncos helped you develop as a player over your time in the league? Yeah, I mean, it's a great organization, um, great community team and um, I mean, it's a family over there. Everybody's close knit, built families, fans, and everything. So, um, but I think the biggest thing for me is just work ethic. We work really hard. Um, I mean, we're not the flashiest team or the most high end offensive team, but um, we work really hard and we have a lot of heart. So, um, I think that's the biggest thing I take away from them. Yeah, Swift really went for it last season. Uh, you run into the eventual champions in the second round, but what did it mean to you to help the Broncos get back in the postseason for the first time since first time since 2018? Yeah, it was definitely special. Obviously, we had a group of old fours that were together, and um, we couldn't make a push earlier in their careers. So to make it that last year is, is definitely special. I mean, going back to the 2017 team when they – won the league. I mean, we looked up to that team, how special the fans were for that team. And um, I mean, when we saw that come for the Lethbridge, Lethbridge series and Moose Jaw series, it was really exciting. What did you learn about how the pace of play intensifies in the postseason? Yeah, it's a crazy change. I mean, a lot more physical. You don't have too much room with the puck and it's a lot more go, go, go. Uh, do your job. Get off the ice. I mean, you can't really be floating around or taking a shift off so I mean you gotta be prepared every shift to go and kind of put your best foot forward now there's another round of Broncos players uh, preparing for their shot at the NHL draft uh, and you got to watch one of them uh, what did you think of Peyton Kettle's play at Helenka Gretzky getting that gold for Canada yeah I mean it was great I was watching the game it was uh, it was a strong shot from the side of the wall and that's kind of the player he is he tricks the tricks the goalie doesn't really think you're shooting and he shoots so I think he has a couple of goals like that last year and I mean overall he's a big guy um, strong defender good skater and I mean he's going to be a huge part of our defensive core this year and I'm really excited to see where he goes in the draft and see how much he can excel this year. Uh, what do you think it'll take for the group overall to take another step forward this year? Yeah I mean like I said we're losing a couple of guys so um, I think what we lose in that, we make up in heart. And, I mean, we're a hardworking team. We got a lot of guys that just want to get better out there. They're getting some chances that they, they've they never had in the past. And, I mean, everybody's excited to take on bigger roles and kind of see where this team can go. So um, we're excited to get the season going and try to push our limits. Clark, thanks so much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Congratulations and good luck this year. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.